for Off the Block. I'm Vinny Lopes, and we are now joined by Barton Men's Volleyball Head Coach Jeff Lang says he has led the Bulldogs back to the NCAA tournament for the second time in three years, and oh man, was it entertaining the way that they were able to get their coach. What a wild match tonight against King. King was able to rally back from multiple five-point deficits in a five-game match. You had five championship points or four championship points, had to fight off a championship point, but eventually you get the win. Is that the craziest match you've ever been involved in your coaching career? Uh, wow, Vinny, I think you just said it all. I don't, I don't think I need to say anything. Uh, yeah, I mean, we have so much respect for King and, and their, their strength of blocking. It's, it's just one of those things that it, it gets their team in, in any match and gives them the energy and it's, it's sometimes hard to fight through. So just a ton of credit to them, but a ton of credit to our guys. Um, just keeping their heads up and man, we would go up and, uh, they would battle back and, and we, you know, have to fight one point at a time and, yeah, it was crazy. Uh, it was it was fun. Um, the guys had a blast. It was a blast to coach and, and just proud of our team. And, and Coach, looking at that match in that fifth game, you guys really seemed to be get, do well from the service line, got a couple aces, but we're really doing a good job forcing them out of the system. Can you just talk about your ser- your serving game and what you saw from the sidelines in the fifth game? Yeah, uh, Adrian got hot uh, and got us a lot of momentum. Uh, it was Number seven was having an excellent match, and we had been targeting him most of the time, and we were just trying to move him a little bit, whether we were floating him or tops conserving him, uh, trying to just make it a little bit more difficult on, on him to side out. But uh, wow, he just, no matter what, he just kept putting the ball down. So, um, you know, we just stuck with the game plan. We, we decided that we are just going to stay with him uh, and, and give our guys a chance to battle on defense. And finally, uh, the last couple points, we were able to do that. And then you look at the performance tonight from the tournament's most valuable player, uh, Vasilis Mandelaris. Can you talk about his play, 20-plus kills again tonight, and what was he able to do to be so successful? Yeah, I think he uh, gives us energy, but he also gives us balance. Uh, we can kind of go up and down with how Vasilis goes. And, um, you know, he started a little bit slow, but, you know, we trust him and I trust him, and he eventually got really locked in and serve receive. Uh, you know, they were moving him around a lot, trying to make him tired, and, and he was able to just fight through that and um, really pass the ball well when we needed to, uh, needed him to, and, and then attack efficiently. Uh, I mean, they, again, like I said earlier, their block is something that really gives them a lot of energy and helps control the match, and, and we were able to figure it out a little bit when we needed to, um, and, and Voss was a big part of that. Yeah, I want to ask you just um you know, about about Boss's makeup and everything. You know, his younger brother, Angelos, is obviously beginning a ton of accolades, that, you know, once again putting up huge numbers. You know, how has he handled that? And not only that, but, you know, knowing that he's still putting up these huge numbers, but his little brother's getting a lot more of the pub and attention. Yeah, he's he's an amazing big brother. Uh, I mean, he cares more about – I'm sorry about that. We've got a big truck here in uh, yeah. in, the, in the south. Um yeah, he's a he's a great big brother. He cares more about uh, Agalos' success than his own, and he'll be the first to celebrate how well he does. So, I mean, anything that Agalos does, Voss, you know, is there for him and and is excited for him. So, you couldn't ask for a better bigger brother. And um, also, Agalos like plays off of that. Um, Voss is a little bit more energy, you know, a little bit more fiery, and and Agalos helps keep us calm and steady. So they they work really well together. Coach, you know, looking at the season as a whole for you, you know, can you just describe what this season has been like, you know, from the lengthy winning streak to the big wins to now this accomplishing one of your big goals from the start of the season? Yeah, I think it's it's something I told the guys after the match. Uh, we've earned everything that's come our way. Uh, we haven't been given anything, and the guys just have stuck together. We play for each other. We play with each other. In, in a way that uh, we're going to celebrate what we do. We're going to stick by each other if things go bad. And um, through that match by match, we've been able to come out on top uh, more times than not. And, and I think it's just something that we've earned. Uh, it's something that we've put ourselves in the position to be where we're at. And we're going to continue to have that same mindset. And so whatever the NCAA committee decides to do, um, you know, in our opinion, that team has to play us. Um, and, and we're going to you know, earn an opportunity to play our best. And if we get that opportunity, uh, we're going to take it. So wherever we go, wherever, uh, whatever that match is, um, we're going to have that mentality that we've earned everything. And we're going to we're going to keep earning it. Yeah. Well, and that, that leads me into two questions I I have for you. Talking about your your home court, 
the last four times you've played King, the home team has won. How big was home court for you guys tonight? It was huge. Uh, and, and we knew it, and, and I think they knew it. Um, and, you know, you just can't, you can't oversell the home court advantage. Um, the idea of playing in your gym and knowing that you've practiced and you've given everything to improve and get better day by day, you know, in a space that, you know, you call your own, um, you know, our guys just really stick to that. And um, we have the mentality that we're always going to defend home court. And whoever comes into our gym, it doesn't matter who it is, you know, they're going to have to really play really well if they want to beat us. Yeah. And, Coach, you know, obviously I know lots still has to play out before we get to Selection Sunday. But do you feel with, you know, the team's RPI and what they've done this season that they've earned the right to either host host the playing match, not have to travel, or not have to compete in the playing match? Uh, yeah, I, I do think we've earned earned the right, but whatever the NCAA decides we're going to do, I mean, there's no <laughs> there's no way around it. So, that, you know, there's no reason to, you know, discuss or you know try and figure out when they tell us who we're going to play um we're going to play them and 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 it's not going to affect us if we have to travel we travel if we host great if we go straight to the the next round that's great too but um you know our guys like i said earlier we've earned everything now so whatever comes in front of us we're going to play whoever that is and, and we're going to prepare our best and we're going to work our hardest and and the guys enjoy that i think they really enjoy knowing that hey we've got to work really hard we've got to prepare really well and if we do that we have a best chance to win all right, Coach, and final question, you know, you look at, at your program, second time in three years you made the NCAA tournament. How much do you feel that experience in 2016 is going to help you guys prepare for the NCAA tournament this year? I think huge. Uh, our seniors have done an excellent job of imparting wisdom on the amount it takes, uh, the amount of effort it takes to prepare and the amount of focus it takes throughout a whole match. And we didn't know that back then. And uh, learning that and playing the matches that we played this year, our guys are slowly learning the uh, the level that we need to play at and sustain through a whole match to beat a really good team. Uh, and every team at this point is going to going to be really well and really well coached and 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 play their best. So uh, I think that experience and the experience of some of the matches we played earlier uh, has given us the the idea and the understanding of what it takes to win. Uh, so we're not going to be surprised. I don't think we're going to have any surprises. Um, whatever team is across the net, I think we're going to be more than prepared for.